Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1269. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1269, the start file or the finish file, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have one, two, three tables. And without the VLOOKUP function, I need in this table to say discount times unit. And then based on the products column, I need to look up the price, calculate total net revenue. Then I need to build a regional report, which means we'd have to look up sales rep into the sales rep table and find the region. Now guess what? This is a Surface Computer Home Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. So it's Home Office. I do not have Power Pivot. But you're not going to believe this. If we have Excel 2016, we can directly access on the Data tab relationships, and we can indirectly access DAX measures, which means building a formula in the pivot table from the pivot table field list. All right, in order to do all of this, we have to have one, two, three Excel tables. I've already converted this to a table. The name is D products. I've converted this to a table. It's D sales rep. So we need to convert this. Control T to convert it to a table. Click OK or Enter. Now I need to name this. So I go to Design and up here or Alt JTA. I'm going to call this F for fact table and then Transactions and Enter. All right, so I have my three tables. It doesn't matter which table I start with. I just insert a pivot table or Alt N V. And the trick is, is we're going to have to add this to the data model. So even though we don't have the power pivot add-in, which would allow us to go look at how the data model is constructed, and build DAX measures over in Power Pivot, we can still do it indirectly as long as we check that. And in fact, the columnar database, which can hold millions and millions of rows of data, much more than Excel sheet, is in every version. So when we click this and click OK, it's going to take a second here. It's loading it into the data model. And it puts the pivot table on a new sheet. I'm going to double click and call this Regional report and enter. Now I'm going to drag the field list over here and drag this down here. Now because we added it to the data model and we have a number of tables, Excel tables, I can click on all. And sure enough, there's all of our tables. Now notice this one has a dark line. That means it's been added already to the data model. Now I'm actually, there's a few ways we can do this. And actually in the last video, we saw how to use auto detect. But I don't want to do that. I want to go right over to the data ribbon and click the relationships window. Now I can build my relationships. I'm going to say new. We have three Excel tables. So in the drop down, I can choose any one of these. And the way this works, if you're new to relationships and you're not a database person, the table and the column foreign, that's going to be our transaction table. The lookup table is called the related table. And the related column primary key, that's always the first column of the lookup table, which always has a unique list of items in databasing called a primary key. So I'm going to select F transactions. And then the foreign column, that just means which one of these columns has the lookup value. And I would like to select sales rep because I want to look up the sales rep within the sales rep table. And then the first column in that table is sales rep. So now what I've done is without VLOOKUP, I built a relationship. So I can look up sales rep within this table down here. And from the pivot table field list, because these sales rep columns are connected, I can drag the region field. Now normally VLOOKUP would return that region, but this relationship will replace that. I'm going to click OK. New, and we also need to do that for price. So I'm going to say, hey, F transaction. I need to look up product, because I need to go and get the price. Here is the lookup table, D products. And the first column in that D products table is products. Notice the other column there is price. And we'll get that in our DAX formula. So products, we've built a relationship and click OK. Now, because I built those relationships, that is also those tables are now added to the data model. And sure enough, you can see they have dark lines. I mean, this is just amazing. Now watch this. I can drag region, and I'll click the drop down. 
drag region down to rows. And now we don't we haven't built our DAX formula, but let's just see that this works here. I don't have my net revenue, but I could add units, right? So now we can see it's working. We got region from the sales rep table and the sum of units from the transaction table. Now, I don't really want that. So I'm going to drag it away. And here's just amazing in 2016. I can come to the F transaction table. And this is the pivot table field list. And right click, add measure. Now, this requires that you know how to build DAX formulas. And I have a bunch of videos. I actually will add a link below the video and in this workbook here. So you can go learn how to do DAX. But we're just going to go ahead and do it here. The new measure name will be net revenue. The value description, net revenue. And here's where we can build tab, tab, tab. And here's where we can build our DAX formula. Now, in order to calculate net revenue, we need to take the price for each product times the number of units sold times 1 minus the discount. That means we're going to actually, in the transaction table, have to have a calculation for each row and then add it. And the perfect function for that is sum x. And you can even read the screen tip. Returns the sum of an expression. That just means our formula evaluated for each row in the table. So I'm going to say tab. Now these screen tips, they're trying to be polite, but they're always going to hide our drop-down list here, which is really annoying. I'm going to type FT, because in order to get the sum x to calculate its expression, we need to say what table it needs to iterate over. So I scoot this out of the way, and I can see it's F transaction. So I hit tab. There's the table. Now, comma, our expression or formula. We need to look up the price. Remember, we're in the transaction table. The product is there for each record, and so I need to look up the price. Instead of VLOOKUP, I use RELATED. Now, why is it called RELATED? Well, of course, because we already have a relationship. And the cool thing about RELATED is all we need is the name of the table and the item we're looking up, which is price. So I'm going to say D products and price. Close parentheses on RELATED. That RELATED function will return every single price for transactions in the F transaction table. Now, that's, in essence, an array of prices times FT. And actually, I'm going to down arrow because what we want is the F transaction table units field. So tab times in parentheses 1 minus. And now I need to get FT for F transactions. And here we want discount tab. Now, if I close parentheses, that would complete our formula. But I actually want to take each one of these calculations and round them. So I'm going to put my cursor right before related and type round tab. Then I can come to the end. That whole number argument is related times units times 1 minus the discount. Come to the end, comma 2. 2 is just like in Excel. We're rounding to the penny. Close parentheses. That closes off the round. Close parentheses on the sum x. And now there's our formula. We can come down here. We can do our number formatting, which will actually follow us around. This is a calculated field or a DAX measure that will show up in our field list. We can drag and drop to any table. And that formatting will follow us around. Now, we could check this, check DAX formula. It says this formula has no errors. I'm going to click OK. And you're not going to believe this. Here's our, whoops, I'm going to come down to Transactions. And down at the bottom, there's another beautiful new thing in 2016. It says f of x, which tells us it's a DAX measure or calculated field. Now I can simply drag and drop my new DAX measure down to the values. And boom, there we have calculated net revenue for region. That involved three different tables and a DAX formula or measure inside our pivot table. Now, of course, I'm going to come up to Design, Report Layout, and Show in Tabular. All right, so in this video, we saw that in 2016, Excel, we can come to the data ribbon. And if we have Excel tables like we did over here on sheet 1269, we can go ahead 
and build our relationships using manage relationship. And then when we build a pivot table from any one of the tables and we know how to build DAX formulas, I can right click, add a measure. All right, we'll see you next trick.